Hey everybody, I hope uh, this audio is going to turn out well for you. We're going to do a quick uh, securement and uh, tarp for this load. I've been getting some requests to do a tarping video. So this is uh, how we're going to get her done, okay? Two in the last five feet and then one up, up here. So that's three uh, for the end of the trailer. Let's ask the trailer, of course. Well, he's, he's almost done. My student's doing this on his own. He's going to tarp it himself. And I'm going to video him working hard and showing you guys how we get her done. So we got two in the first five feet. Now, here he's coming with the straps. He's going to throw one here. And then we're going to do two each one. There's going to be plenty. Okay, so I'm gonna let him finish strapping, and once he's done strapping and securing the load, we're going to then uh, get going with the tarps. And just so you guys know, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. Look up at the top of that load. Okay. The tarps are on top of the load, and a forklift driver put them up there. Okay, so everybody's worried about you know, these tarps being extra heavy, and they are, they are heavy. But, uh, you know, the forklift driver is gonna do most of the work. And uh, and then in, in other occasions, uh, in, in other occasions, uh, uh, they'll have tarp machines. Uh, and if they don't have a tarp machine, see my other tarp up there? If they don't have tarp machine, uh, I can also show you techniques on how to get your tarp up there without having to, lift the whole thing up there okay so let's get this thing secured and then we'll we'll pick up all right everybody uh just so you can see okay these you see of course it's sharp edges on this wood see all right and it's sharp up there of course all right so what we're going to do is we're going to Cover the, the uh, back and the edges of the uh, of the load with uh, those moving blankets, okay? And uh, once we're done, I will uh, let you see what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is take the blankets, and when we throw them up there, we're gonna tuck it underneath. Okay, the sun was getting me. I'm gonna tuck it underneath. So when we when we when we uh, tighten down the strap it'll actually hold those in place okay and you want them held in place because the winds blowing and all that craziness and um, we don't want it to we don't want them to move while we're while we're tarping nor move while they're going down the road if they do tend to move out of the way uh, then those those uh, sharp corners right there they'll, they'll tear a hole in the tarps okay so that's what we're gonna do next. And then I'm gonna uh, pick this video up once we get all that crap installed. And he's still throwing straps, as you can see. All right, go ahead and lay those blankets out. Pull the blankets to cover up this end. No, 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 you're in the right place. I just need you to pull them. Pull the blanket. Keep pulling. Keep, nope, to, uh, off the edge. Yes. Stop right there. Okay. Now, you see how it's covered? Yeah. Okay. That's what we want. Do that same thing to the other side. Let it come off the end, perfect, just like that. Good, okay? Now, now what you have to do is, uh, is put it underneath the, uh, the uh, strap, okay? You wanna do that when you get on top of the load. You can do it there if you can, you know? Make it easy.
perfect. Sometimes the loads are really tall and you have to do that from the top, okay? Beside that wind that's messing with you. Perfect, just like that. Now you see how that wind is trying to blow those off? That's the reason we don't put the blankets up there first, then throw the straps over the blanket. By the time you get ready to throw the strap, your uh, your edge protection will be on the ground. The wind done, done blowed it off, okay? All right, we're gonna do that same thing to the front, then we're gonna get ready to tarp. All right, what he's doing right now is putting those edge protectors on each one. As you can see, he's gonna crawl. It's gonna be on his hands and knees the whole time he's on top of the load. making sure that he's straight. And he's gonna keep moving up forward. He's gonna get all of those edge protectors on every strap. Stay on your hands and knees while you're on top of the load. All right, he's at the front. He's almost done. And they all have the little edge protectors on them now. And see how we did the back you know you just kind of want to those two edge right there to have some protection that little edge right here is a little bit of a concern but nothing we can't deal with okay but we're gonna throw those tarps out right now here we go all right guys this is the tarp at the very end that is loaded okay what we're gonna do, as you can see, they're clear. Come on, everybody. That is the tarp on the edge of the load right there. And as you can see, a clear, defined path, right? We're gonna roll the tarp out, and we're gonna roll it on one half, with one half, and then the, the edge of the tarp is gonna ride the edge of one side, see? We're gonna just do like half. We're gonna roll it out and then you're gonna see what I'm talking about. All right, everybody, this is the tarp rolled out, okay? Let's look at this edge right here. See, there's a single edge here and there's two edge here. You see what side the load it's on, right? Because what we're gonna do is bring this over like that. And then this is the middle. So we're gonna roll that out. Okay, everybody, as you can see, there's a clear defined middle and it's right in the middle of the load all the way down. So now all we need to do is keep folding out and then the tarp's gonna fall off the side, both sides. Simple, 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 simple. All right, so you just keep unfolding and folding until it falls off both sides. So simple, so super duper simple. And this is a very square load, so it's like probably the easiest tarp job you'll ever get. So we're gonna do the front. See, we're not done with the front yet. We're gonna do the front, and, uh, and you guys will be able to kind of see it a little. All right, guys. He's he's now. You see how this thing is right in the center, but it's on this side. You see how he's unrolling it? He's gonna he's gonna stop right there, and he's gonna keep moving forward. Just like that. Keep moving forward. On your knees, keep yourself stable. It's gonna, it's gonna go all the way to the edge. So I gotta get out of this way, and then. All right, guys. I'm at the front. As you can see, this is the trailer. So I'm at the front of the trailer. Okay. The flap has edges, and see, I brought the edge over. This is a bad bungee right here. See that? I'm gonna replace this one. I just went ahead and used it while I'm shooting this little video for you. But, uh, and this is, I did this on purpose. The way I connected these is not the way you want to do them, okay? The way you, the way I, you really do them is like this one I got at the bottom. See, I double that, and then it's hooked and I got it grabbed. See that? Why is it that way? It's because the bungee, and also, 
make the hook go inside like this. If you turn the hook the other way, then the sharp point will, will, will uh, tear up your tarp. Okay, so just make sure the hooks go inside. See, see how them hooks are going in? Okay. And that's because if you, if you try to do this, this is still flimsy and it digs into your tarp, okay? So we're gonna, I'm gonna end up uh, doubling that up just like the rest of them, but I wanted to show you. We don't do it this way, okay? You can see a lot of people doing that. Makes it seem like it's easy, but don't do that, okay? That's the rest of the tarp. This is a flap. It's gonna come down and I'll show you when that happens, okay? Let me fix this and then replace that one. All right, guys. All right. First off, let me explain something to you. At the bottom of this video, in the comment section, there's gonna be some million miler crying and yapping about, he don't know what he's doing, he's just a good damn rookie, dude, he I do it. I'm the only one know how to talk for love, listen to me. That's gonna be some bullshit, okay? There's a lot of different ways to do this shit. You just do it the way that it's gonna be uh, easiest for you. So I'm gonna do this the way I do it, and I'm gonna get started with it, and you're gonna just watch me do it, okay? So here we go. All right, guys, this seam right here is where the two tarps meet. That's the rear tarp, and that's the front tarp. Right here is where those two tarps meet, okay? So what we're gonna do is get these two ends right here, and make sure they're, hold, they're held taut, and then we're just gonna start rolling it, and rolling it, and rolling it, and rolling it, until it gets to the top of the load. All right, so here we go. See that? Start rolling it. And keep rolling. Keep rolling, and then eventually we're gonna see the top or the deck of the trailer, see? And that's what we're gonna, we're getting there. There it is, that's the deck of the trailer, okay? So we're gonna put it up there. And we're gonna send a bungee through. Okay, this is the front tarp, okay? And we're gonna pull it against the opening. So it's gonna take it towards the rear of the trailer, look, just like that. And we're just gonna set it right there for right now. Then he's gonna grab the one next to it. And we'll get out of his way because that one's gonna come forward. He's gonna get that one in front of him, say he's retucking it. He's gonna send that one through. Pull that one to the rear. And do the same thing now this one and that one's gonna go to the front. Alright, alright, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna step back so you guys can understand what I'm saying. We just did the middle, okay? So now the middle, as you can see, is taut. We're gonna skip all of this and we're gonna go do the back and do the same thing. We're gonna go to the front, secure the front. Then we're gonna get in the middle and start working. And start working on both sides. Now, we've already done the other side. It looks just like that. We're gonna pin the middle. Then we're gonna pin the edges. And that's gonna help keep the uh, tarp flat level like it is, okay? All right, I'll get right back with you. Everybody. We're at, as you can tell, the rear of the truck, okay? Rear of the trailer. And, hey, that guy's coming to work on my trailer. Okay, so what we're gonna do is close this flap. This is the flap. The flap has gotta go against the load and then the ends wrap around the flap. Why? It's because the wind is gonna roll down the side of the trailer and then come right off. But if the flap was open and the, and the, and the tail on the inside, the, the flap would catch the wind, okay? So we're gonna close that flap. Here we go. All right, so he's closing that side. Let's take a look. Bam, 
bam, bam, see? And that flap ain't going anywhere. See that? Now, what we're gonna do is close the flap this way. And as you can see, down the side of the trailer, the air will flow down the side of this trailer and not catch any tarp material. So we're gonna finish buttoning this up and then I'll show you when it's once it's completed. All right, so this guy is fixing us up. See that? That'll probably move. Go ahead and close. So we're gonna take care of this. While he finishes punching. I'm closing this rear flap. After he gets done with that, he's gonna go to the front, close the front, and then we're gonna button up the sides. And it's just a matter of bungeeing, guys. This is so, 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 so simple, okay? Now, I showed y'all this on a, on a simple load because it's just a flat, easy load, okay? But it's, this, is, this is probably, everybody wanna make flatbed and sound so damn difficult and it's just not man you, you just can't make this shit hard i'm sorry you just, it's not hard it pays damn good all right so he's about to go to the other side and finish the other side but look at the side of this trailer look at that load that's a damn good tarp job right there other side, he's just got to, remember he did every other, right? So he's just gonna go on the other side, he's gonna fill in the banks, and, he, and this, this load is tarped. This is not a difficult situation, guys. It's not hard, okay? Now, <laughs> I will say, uh, this load has been tarped with my personal tarps, okay? These are not Melton's tarps. And if it was melting tarps, it would take three tarps. And they are, I, I, I just do not like these. I don't like them. They're very, very stiff. And they have a three-piece system, which means I would have to use three tarps to cover this load. I took two. Okay? My tarps lay better. And uh, call this guy and let him know what you want. And this particular set of tarps are uh, six foot drops, not eight foot drops. And because they're not eight foot drops, I didn't have tarp material all the way to the ground there that I had to tuck under there. It's just, I don't like them. I don't like them, but uh, this is $700 to, to do this, to buy those set of tarps. And I would spend it again, as long as I have to use those metal tarps. All right, guys, it, I, I had a super extra alley -ooper hot, and I'm tired, and I'm hot, and I'm sweaty. And uh, my student is finishing up out there, and he's going to come inside and grab some of his AC as well. Um, tarping is not hard. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's work. But if you're scared to work, then, you know, I, I don't know. I can't, there's nothing I can tell you. At the end of the tarp in there, I told you that Melton has a different set of tarps than, that, than I have, okay? And there's a reason why they have those tarps, okay? And, and the biggest part of the reason why they have tarps that are that heavy and that uh, the tarp material is so tough is because drivers are negligent with them. They do just crazy stuff with the tarps, man. I mean, they, uh, my last student uh, showed me a picture. I wanna, I'm gonna include those tarps in this, uh, in this video, the pictures he took, I hope you don't mind. But he did a repower, and the person who uh, had the, the load before him tarped it with their tarps, mountain tarps, and I'm gonna show you what those tarps look like. And the reason why, just look at this shit.
don't complain that Melton has bad equipment because they don't. That person just didn't let the company know that they needed to get to the shop, to a terminal, and swap out those tarps. They just kept using them raggedy ass things and then pawned them off on another driver. That's exactly what happened. So why Melton don't buy tarps like for their drivers to take the tarps that I that I have? It's because in a quick heartbeat, those tarps will be torn to shreds because the per, the driver is not vested in the in the equipment. So they abuse them. It's crazy, but it happens. Anyways, um. Again, guys, this stuff is not hard. Most of the loads that this load, and if we didn't put those tarps on top of the on top of this load, forklift driver done that, and, they, and that's about ninety nine percent of the loads that, that 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 they don't have an actual tarp machine there to actually tarp the load for you. They don't. That, well, the tarp machine does not tarp the load for you, but it does lay the tarps over the load for you, so you have to crawl up there and do it. Basically, you position the tarps where you want, drop them on the top of the load, and then. You just bungee, man. It's so simple. It's not hard at all. So if anybody tell you how this job is just, just ridiculously hard, don't listen to that person. They can tell me the sky was blue, and I would think that's bullshit. Till I see you again. <laughs> Deliver undistracted and talk below. They pay you $100 for this easy-ass crap. Here we go. Yeah. Boop.